Hello, I'm Joe Wren. State Senator Karen Tallian is dropping out of the governor's race, leaving former House Speaker John Gregg as the lone Democratic candidate still in the race. In a statement today, she says, I will continue to build on my decade of experience as a state senator, fighting to ensure equal rights, well-paying jobs, and quality education for all Hoosiers. Tallian entered the race this spring, saying somebody had to speak for the progressive point of view. As students return to college this week, they'll be hearing or seeing advertisements that inform them Indiana's Lifeline Law can be used in cases of sexual assault. Indiana's Lifeline Law allows underage Hoosiers to call the police without fear of getting into trouble for drinking if they see someone that is the victim of a crime or needs medical attention. You know, uh, most college high school seniors and college freshmen uh, aren't watching TV anymore and we felt like we needed to figure out how to outreach to uh, those individuals. And we came to the conclusion that social media is uh, job one. The social media campaign will include advertisements on Facebook and Pandora. And a Democrat and Monroe County Council member Shelly Yoder announced today she'll make another run for Indiana's 9th District Congressional seat. Yoder won the Democratic nomination in 2012, but lost to Representative Todd Young, who is now vacating the seat to run for U.S. Senate. Yoder is the first Democrat to announce candidacy for the seat. And now checking the weather forecast tonight, a slight chance of thunderstorms, lows down to 65. And in the five-day forecast tomorrow, slight chance of storms, 85 the high, a 70% chance of thunderstorms on Wednesday, 82, 75 by Thursday, clearing out on Friday, highs up to 77 degrees. We have more news online, WTIUnews.org.